Hey guys, Tommy Bryson here, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you a formula to figure out if you are on your way to be rich or for example, if you're not. So this formula is gonna tell you, hey, you're great with money or you're not great with money. Now, when I did this formula, when I was 19 years old, I was not great and the results showed it. And I was kind of depressed, honestly, because I thought it was pretty good, but I wasn't that good, okay? But, you know, the whole thing, guys, is I found this formula in a book called Stop Acting Rich by Thomas J. Stanley, where the author has one goal, to tell you exactly who the real wealthy rich people actually are, and it's not those actors, those rappers, those, you know, famous people. It's not them with the fancy cars, with the fancy wives. It's not them. It's the average people that you won't believe are actually rich. In reality, they are your neighbors. So stick around to the end of this video. This formula, the results are either going to make you very happy or very depressed like it did to me. Okay, but guess what? It's better to know the truth than not to know the truth. You'll know exactly are you very bad with money? Are you average or are you a prodigy? prodigious with it, okay? A crazy accumulator of wealth. We're gonna find out in this video. And as always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified, and on top of that, also destroy, dismantle. Just click the like button gently, don't break it. I was kidding, okay? Now, the very first thing is, Tommy, what is this formula? How does it work? Is it statistics? The answer is no, don't worry. It's gonna be very simple. You don't need geometry. All you need is your little calculator right here. You're going to need three pieces of information, which I guarantee you already know one, and that is your age. So for me, for example, I'm 24 years old. You're also going to need also your net worth. Now your net worth is going to be, what do you own, your assets, minus your liabilities equal your net worth. So if you have a house and you have $20,000 in equity, that's an asset, right? But if you have 80K in debt, well, you put that in the liability size. So $20,000 minus $100,000 equals negative 80,000. So you wanna put your assets you want on one side, including the equity, and then your liabilities, everything you owe on the other side is going to equal your entire net worth. And then lastly, you're also going to need to know exactly what your annual pre-tax income actually is. This means how much money do you actually make before Uncle Sam takes a piece of the pie? That's the idea. And that's all you need to know, okay? So how does this formula work? How do you do it? Teach me. All right, so before I tell you that, I do have to tell you what these results are actually going to be, okay? These results are gonna tell you either three things. They're gonna tell you if you are, for example, a UAW, which basically means an under accumulator of wealth. They're gonna tell you, for example, if you are a AAW, a average accumulator of wealth. And lastly, they're gonna tell you if you're gonna be, for example, a PAW, a prodigious accumulator of wealth, which is obviously what you wanna be, okay? So if you have half of what you're supposed to have, you're an under accumulator. If you have, for example, what you're supposed to have, at least like more than half, well, you're an average. If you have double what you're supposed to have, then you are a prodigious accumulator of wealth. And don't worry, I'll explain everything here. And also description shows everything I'm saying here, okay? But again, prepare to be disappointed, okay? So what do you do here? First of all, put down your age in your calculator. So in my case, hey, I am 24 years old. And then multiply this number by your annual income. Remember, before taxes. So in this case, I'm gonna use $75,000, okay? Tell me, why $75,000? Because I read somewhere on a Princeton survey that basically, once you get to $75,000, it doesn't make you any more happier to make more money. But I am aware that the average person in America makes around $56,000, so yeah, put your real numbers here. This is not my real number, obviously. But overall, you multiply it, right? So then you click, for example, equal. And that shows you, hey, Tommy, that's 1.8 million. I don't have that, are you crazy? No, you wanna divide it now by 10. And that tells you exactly what your expected net worth should actually be. Now, this means, for example, if you have less than half of this, you are an under accumulator of wealth. If you have more than 50% of this, then you are an average accumulator of wealth. If you have at least double of this, 
then you are a prodigious <laughs> accumulator of wealth. Now, I want to ask you guys, okay? Some of you guys are going to be depressed right now, and that's fine. So again, all you have to do is just basically multiply your age, multiply by your annual pre-tax income, right? So that's $20,000. And then, for example, just divide that number by 10, and that's your expected net worth. Did it twice, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. But the answer is, if you are below the age of 30, this is very hard because most of us graduate at age 22, 24, and then we start making money. So yeah, it's gonna be very hard to actually be, for example, anywhere near average or prodigious. So most likely, you can be happy just being an under accumulator of wealth, but being closer to the higher side, okay? That's the idea. That's how crazy this actually is. So for context here, let's say I have my wife, okay? Which I don't have just yet. But my wife, her name is Ava, okay? And my wife, Ava, guess what? She makes around $100,000 a year. Has been for a very long time because in reality, she is around 50 years old, okay? So Ava, she's 50 years old, multiplied by her annual income of $100,000, okay? <laughs> Which is, hey, that's 5 million, then divided by 10, okay? That tells me, hey, you should have a net worth, Ava, of at least 500,000. However, Ava has $1 million because for the past 30 years, she's been investing and basically putting her money to work. And every time she got a raise, she didn't switch her lifestyle up. She just basically put that money to work. Tommy, what are you doing with a 50 year old? Don't worry about it, okay? However, my friend, his name is James, okay? Now James, he's 30 years old and he makes $150,000, okay? However, James though, now James, he has a nice little mansion, cost him around $700,000, not bad. He has three cars, and on top of that, he's planning on actually buying a boat. So he financed one, okay? So James, okay, again, he's 30 years old, makes around $150,000, all right? So multiply, that's 4.5 million, divided by 10, he should have $450,000. However, James only has a $100,000 net worth, which basically means he is terrible, terrible at accumulating wealth, okay? So the answer is, it's not how much you make, it's what you do with the money, okay? And the answer here is obviously, you want to invest money and have the money multiply. So comment down below, guys, and let me know exactly what is your expected um, net worth? And what is it really right now, okay? So I wanna know, let me know in the comments down below, okay? But just so you know, I am an AAW, an average accumulator of wealth. I'm not even prodigious, okay? Because to actually be there, again, if you are below 30, it's going to be very hard to actually get there. So if you are average, that's awesome, below 30. But then the goal is to work towards actually making it to being a prodigious, meaning you should have double the amount that you actually are expected to actually have, okay? But comment down below and let me know. Are you a UAW, under accumulator? Are you an AAW, average accumulator of wealth? Or are you, for example, a PAW, a prodigious accumulator of wealth? Comment down below, let me know, okay? Again, UAW, 50% or less, AAW, 50% or more, all right, more than 50%, and then PAW, double what you should have, okay? That's the idea. Now, I do wanna say one thing, guys, okay? Some of you guys, after doing the formula, might say, this is impossible, this is crazy, unrealistic. The answer is, it is crazy. And that's why only less than 7% of people out there actually become a millionaire and actually become, for example, financially free because it is very hard to actually do it. Now, in reality, guys, you have different types of wealthy people. You have, for example, um, the IA, and that's called income affluent rich people, basically meaning, hey, they have a very high income and it's spend like crazy, but in reality, they're poor because they actually don't have what they're supposed to have as far as net worth. By the way, some people that watch this video might have a high income and might find that actually they're terrible at accumulating wealth, especially usually doctors and lawyers. Because hey, if you make, for example, for fun here, if you make $400,000 a year, guys, and let's say, for example, you're 40 years old, you're supposed to have, divided by 10 here, you're supposed to have around 1.6 million. 
they might have, for example, just $20,000 or $100,000 or $300,000, okay? Because in reality, they bought the nice house, they buy the nice cars, they buy, for example, the nice boats, and guess what? All they have is just a bunch of liabilities, okay? So that's not what you wanna be. What you actually wanna be is actually called a BA, a balance sheet affluence millionaire. Now, what is that exactly? It means that although you have a normal income of $50,000, $60,000, $80,000, guess what? You use that money to create more wealth by investing, by multiplying it, you know, by doing those things. And then your money keeps growing and growing and growing, which basically means your net worth keeps increasing and increasing. And by the way, the average millionaire usually gets there in their 50s, sometimes 40s, but it takes a while to actually get there. And in the media, in the marketing, what you're usually shown is the glitter and rich. And what is that, Tommy? The glitter and rich is someone that makes so much money that they spend it on whatever they want and it doesn't really make a difference. It's kind of like Michael Jackson can walk into a store, give me this, just that, no, the whole wall. Give me the whole wall, right? Because he has that much money, because he has a crazy income. But most people don't have that, all right? So what are the two things you can do today to make sure that if you're not average or a prodigious accumulator of wealth what can you do today to make sure you get on that path well the first thing is obviously you live below your means and you don't live above your means okay so stop trying to impress people that is not how you get wealthy that's how you get very poor buying a new car every two years leasing buying a neighborhood you can't afford all those things don't help you also the second thing is you might want to live in a neighborhood that is actually below your income level. Meaning, if you make a high income or an average income, guess what? Live in a neighborhood where you're going to be almost like on the upper percentile of people that make the most money. That way, you're not basically influenced by lifestyle creeps. You know, before I got to Puerto Rico and I looked at neighborhoods, I saw, for example, Dorado, where all the rich people basically live or whatever, it's Lavelle, where people basically buy apartments for crazy amounts of dollars. And that's so, for example, where I live right now. And I was like, I'm gonna live here because my neighbor isn't going to have a Lamborghini or for example, a crazy fancy car, which basically makes me not have to or want to keep up with the Joneses or pay a crazy premium on an apartment. I have three bedrooms. I pay 725. This same apartment in Dorado would be like 2,000, 3,000 and Isla Velda would be for example, $2,000 or $1,200, okay? The answer is you can save a lot of money just by making sure you don't live where those people that have high incomes but don't accumulate wealth basically live because they might have all the little fancy symbols and badges, but they don't actually have any wealth actually being accumulated. And that's not what you want. And finally, guys, I'm gonna give you guys three tips as far as, for example, when it comes to trying to build wealth, okay? First of all, don't buy expensive things because usually once you buy that expensive car, now you're gonna need the clothes to go with it, the watch to go with it, the insurance to go with it, everything to go with it, okay? And also the house to go with it, okay? So usually making sure you don't buy expensive things is actually gonna save you a lot of money down the road, money you don't even see, all right? Second, when you get a raise at your job, for example, you make $40,000, got a new job and I make $80,000, the answer is stick with your normal lifestyle, use the basically the raise to invest it and make more money and accumulate more wealth. That's what you wanna do. And lastly, be patient. I saw a comment today saying, Tommy, I don't like your investing strategy because in reality, it takes so long. I don't want to make 10% or 12%. I want to invest in crypto and make 300%. I was like, well, who are the millionaires there? What's the odds of you actually becoming wealthy and rich? No reply, no answer. It takes time to build wealth. And that's why only six to 7% of people actually get to millionaire status. It takes time, step-by-step -step process, okay? And by the way, don't be disappointed if you're not an average accumulator or a prodigious one, doesn't matter. What matters now is that you know, you're making changes, so having a budget, cutting down on your debt, saving for emergencies, investing, buying a home you can actually afford. By the way, the average millionaire, never owns a home over $300,000, and on top of that, never makes over $100,000. So in reality, you don't need a high income, you don't need a fancy home, 
They don't buy Mercedes or BMWs. They buy, for example, Toyotas and Hondas and Mazdas. So really learn about who those rich people actually are. And if you want more information on that, well, read this book right here called Stop Acting Rich by Thomas J. Stanley, which isn't with us anymore, but the guy did some legendary work right here. So go read the book. Link down below to Audible if you want it. Get it for free. The link is down below. And I'll see you guys next time. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified, comment down below, let me know what you thought about this video, if it actually helped you put things into perspective or made you super depressed, comment down below, let me know. On top of that, DM me on Instagram, Tiny Bryson, or just call me, the link is down below. More content here on investing. And here's my face, subscribe to the channel, and peace out, long-term team, out.